Hey, good morning, guys. I uh, wasn't going to go there, but today's one of those days I'm feeling a little froggy, so I'm going to. got to preach on the whole counsel of God. And um, right here in the book of Proverbs, and it kind of reminds me of today, you know, the times that we are living in. And we are essentially living in how it was in the times of Noah. It seems like we're approaching and we're spiraling further and further into depravity. And this, I mean, don't mistake my, how, how do I even want to say this? Don't mistake my criticisms for being unpatriotic, because that could be further from the truth. I support our military 100%. But I don't always support our government 100%. And it, I don't want to start mudslinging, whether it comes to the right or the left. But it just seems like these days, things aren't right. What used to be condemned and looked at as taboo 100 years ago maybe even 60 70 years ago are looked at as normal now and it's just kind of funny how even as a child growing up you know Watching TV, listening to music, listening to songs, how I was so desensitized by it. But uh, I think it was Proverbs chapter 30, verse 12. Actually, I'm going to 12 and 13. Uh, Proverbs chapter 30, verse 12 and 13. There is a generation that are pure in their own eyes, and yet is not washed from their filthiness. There is a generation, oh how lofty are their eyes, and their eyelids are lifted up. You know, that pride, that arrogance. You know, I'm just going to come out and say it. Abortion being pro choice, but yet trying to lift up your prayers to the Lord when the nation's in distress. The Lord's not going to hear your prayers if you're on the wrong side of the Gulf. If you're not abiding in Christ, He's not He's not going to hear your prayers. Actually. When you're living in sin, when you're willfully living in sin, he's not going to hear your prayers. Actually, your prayers are an abomination. So don't tell me that if you should support abortion, that the Lord's going to hear your prayers, because he won't. Your prayers are nothing but an abomination. The thing that I can't stand the most is when people say, what about all these tribes and civilizations from the Old Testament that God had wiped out? Okay, so it's okay for you to play God, but it's not okay for God to play God? All this uh, sexual immorality going on these days. Music that I hear, ungodly music playing at the grocery store. You know, I don't want to single out any type of music, but, you know, a lot of times I think I'm at a dance club. I think I'm at a club. I don't need to really go into detail, 
in case there's any kids by chance watching this right now. But a lot of times I think I'm at a dance club. Just so much immorality and a lot of times even on TV. A lot of impure stuff. A lot of filthy words that even as a kid, I would have been like, huh? You know, even now I'm still boggled by it. I don't know. I just, I'm, I'm, (laughs) I'm troubled by what, by things that are just transpiring. It's like people are so desensitized to everything going on. One more reason why I hope Christ comes back and he comes back soon. I mean, this world has nothing to offer. It doesn't. I mean, us as Christians, Messianics, all we can do is abide in Christ, work, lead our families, and pray. All right, guys, stay blessed.